Okay, this is a Kubuntu and KDE review. I had to figure out where the terminal was and I'm using record my desktop to make this demo. Let's see, first thing I wanna do is show you how to get to the terminal. Click the start, no terminal, application. Oh. Hey, look, it shows a terminal there. No terminal. Oh, fine, fine, fine. No terminal. What? Oh, I'm very confused. Computer. Okay. Well, I, I know that I've recently used terminal. I ended up finding it. Uh, but it wasn't there and I had to change system settings to get the monitor volume uh, resolution to a size that I can use well I don't know how to get a terminal so I'm stuck I do have to know that uh, the terminal shows nothing oh hey there it is console terminal okay well that's something that most people could probably figure out but you would expect a terminal to be there pretty easy okay well we got a terminal ls yay uh, this is a demo user who am I I am a demo uh, well let's make KDE show up uh, like I normally use it first of all I'm not connected to the network I kind of want to be connected this is one of the greatest things about our system. Um, pardon the profanity. I connect to WAP01. And yeah, let's connect it automatically. I'm not going to show password. Let's just. Do, do, do. Okay. What? Why is it asking me for it again? I just gave it to it. Looking for authentication. Okay. Hey, setting network address. Hey. Wondering why that I'm pointing at this little icon thing. I'm wondering why it isn't showing up. Uh, why the icon isn't changing as its status is changing. Uh, what's these two other things? Whoa! Software upgrade notifications. Okay. Well, why well, hide this? This is not the latest version of KDE. This is the the upgraded one with 10.04 uh, it's the version of KDE that came with 10.04 I'm running 4.5 on another system I, I do generally like KDE they try to do a lot everything's modular everything everything's kind of reused okay what do I want to do I first of all uh, on most wide screens the little status bar being down here at the bottom isn't cool so let's try to move this I right clicked on it panel options panel settings oh, screen edge woohoo always put it there okay that's not really that good width hey that's pretty easy and pretty slick that's not that bad uh, that's the, the first thing Okay, I like it to auto hide. Panel options, panel settings. I, I would like to always have it there. There's a, I'd like to always see it when I'd have no windows open though, but uh, there's currently not a way to do that. More settings, auto hide. Auto hide, okay, there's a little X here. Hey, it's pretty cool. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. 
let's see. Okay, got that there. Desktop folder. Create new folder. Junk. Hey, look at that. Oh, presumably, I can. Stuff I don't want. Let's get rid of that epoxy. Don't want. That's a better name. Hard to deal with. Uh, special punctuation in any file system. Junk. Stuff I don't want. Hey, I can click on that and it comes up. Here's Dolphin. Look at how much screen space this is wasting. First of all, if I'm going to have a whole lot of windows open, uh, that's the first thing I notice. Hey, look, there's my windows, hard drive recovery. Those get big quick. Let's try to make everything smaller. Okay, I cannot make that smaller. I have no idea under the sun why this is so big, but. I also like detail view. Hey, that's cool. Let's go up a folder, desktop, home. Why does that not have my name? Home folder. Okay, well, that's interesting. And why didn't it stay details? Details, there we go. Okay, what's this plus? Okay, I click on one spot and it takes me to it, and I click another spot and it selects it. I'm a little bit confused by that. Okay, well, settings. Let's look for settings. Because uh, I, I don't like clicks doing random things. If I m miss by a pixel, I don't want it to change the screen. I want it to easy column view details navigation oh, okay I'm used to Windows so I choose double click Let's open files trash Shadow tools oh rename inline well let, let's see what the difference is templates public Music. Let's go to the desktop folder. Okay, I double clicked. Let's rename this. 